whenever you're ready. Okay. Good evening. I call the I call to order the meeting of the design review board. Today's date is Monday, J July 25th, 2022. Do the roll call, Matt. Slobodin. Yes. Howell's excused. Rashid's excused. Sinekar. Present. Salzer. Here. Anderson. Here. Tibbet. Here. And Huff. First item on the agenda is the approval of minutes from the last meeting. Are there any changes? Move to approve. All in favor say aye. Aye. All opposed say no. All right. Motion carries. No old business. New business. Case DR22 10 request for design review. Village of East Davenport zoning district exterior remodel and new construction at. 1117 Mound Street, Streamline Architects, Petitioner, on behalf of Kelsey Siebert. Okay, so I'll give a brief overview um, of the site and location, then we'll ask the applicant to come up and explain the concept. Um, so this site is 1117 Mound Street. So this is the location of the former 1117 Bar, which is moving into the old baked uh, restaurant space. Um, so the site's highlighted in yellow. Um, located on Mound Street um, along the alley between 11th and 12th Street. Um, so the site consists of a small um, existing building uh, that was once residential in character but has since been converted into a commercial use. Um, it also encompasses the land uh, directly north. So there used to be a home on that property but it's since been demolished. So the new tenant will be a new bar and restaurant that will be renovating the existing building um, as well as building a new outdoor patio area. Um, so this is just a view of the south side of uh, the building from the alley. Um, just taken from Google Photos, that one's a little bit older. And then this is a view from Mound Street. So that home right there has since been demolished. And right now it's currently just a uh, vacant property. Um, so the Village of East Davenport design guidelines, uh, they provide standards for remodeling existing buildings. Uh, so the four to note is that they want uh, to preserve significant stylistic and architectural features, to repair deteriorated building features that are historic, to replace an architectural element accurately if it must be replaced, then to match it with the material and the design. And then they um, encourage applicants not to use synthetic materials such as aluminum, vinyl, or panelized brick and stone as a replacement for primary building material. And then they, uh, the design guidelines also outline standards for new construction, uh, which typically they want to encourage high quality design and materials for new infill development. So that will be applicable for this project. Uh, to discourage parking areas located between buildings in the street and then to discourage parking as a primary use. Uh, infill development should also be consistent with the height of the adjacent structures. Uh, five, to incorporate traditional building components in, into the design of a new porch feature, to maintain the traditional size of buildings as perceived at the street level. Uh, seven, to establish a sense of human scale. And then eight, to maintain the diverse building and open space pattern that occurs along the street within the village. So keep those standards in mind. Um, the purpose for today is to hold discussion and to provide the applicant feedback. So with that, um, I'll invite the applicant to stand at the podium and you can kind of go through your slides and you can provide an outline for the new project. Thanks. <clears throat> uh, I'm Andrew Dasko, I'm a uh, principal architect with Streamline Architects. Um, so this is a, a new owner um, of the, the real estate as well as the um, business. Um, I don't know if the name will actually be the back porch or not, but it's a, a restaurant and bar. Um, the primary existing house, uh, it's um, the layout inside is uh, remaining the same for the most part. Uh, we're doing some cosmetic issues. The restrooms, uh, we're pretty much redoing them so they function uh, better. 
Um, and then also um, we're removing the ceiling, exposing the um, second floor uh, area um, just to create height. We're leaving the uh, actual ceiling rafters in place so nothing structural is happening, but just to really kind of make the space feel bigger. Uh, but on the exterior um, of the existing building, um, uh, things that we're proposing are um, we're going to we'd like to paint the building um, a lighter tone, whether it's white or light gray, uh, accent it with uh, black trim, and um, replace the windows one to one um, with uh, black with darker window. Um, you'll see throughout the concept we have uh, we've shown like a cedar shake uh, uh, shingle um, that will likely be a synthetic um, cedar shake so it'll always remain the cedar color it will it wouldn't gray over time um, and that will be the, the warmth that we'll provide for the design um, <clears throat> the uh, you'll see that stairwell on the exterior that is actually going to a existing window that we'd like to uh, convert to a um, uh, a door and that'll actually be an office for the um, for the owner so that um, stairwell is proposed as new on the uh, south side there and likely the materials of that would be um, exterior grade um, steel with uh, um, an ornamental handrail to kind of fall within the um, design aesthetic. Um, <clears throat> that, yeah, so you can see most of the patio around the existing house has already been paved. Um, and so I um, can't remember, I don't know if they actually did the lights. We actually did the DR or the design for the 1117. And it was a lot cooler when we designed it, and I think they did about half the stuff we proposed. So, um, this owner actually, um, it's a combination of uh, it was Kelsey Seward, and then um, uh, her partner is uh, Greg Ontiveros. So, he's uh, he lives in Dallas. He's excited about bringing something here that is from Texas. Um, there's there's actually a design inspired from a uh, uh, kind of taco joint um, near his uh, condo that he lives at that has uh, kind of an exterior feel. So the, the idea is that we use that uh, lot to the north to um, create uh, and program an outdoor space that has you know, outdoor TVs, fire pits, uh, greenery, a um, uh, small bar in the center that'll have a storage and walk-in cooler behind it. Um, if you go back one more, I want to keep going on this. Right, the existing garage on the um, called the east side. Uh, we're looking to repurpose that garage into um, an additional restroom uh, when the exterior uh, patio happens. And that'll be on the north side of the garage, and then the south side would likely become uh, storage and uh, maybe additional walk-in. Then you see that airstream, that's a placeholder for uh, a permanent food truck. So the food um, will be kind of supplied and provided through the, the permanent food truck um, that will be located there. Um, okay, you can go ahead now. Sure. So this is looking from uh, the north, um, looking south. Uh, there's a, you know, a slight, pretty good slope on uh, Mound Street. So. Um, our uh, vision is that we're going to actually kind of decom or compress the um, the new structure and build outcropping limestone walls um, that'll kind of create a uh, barrier, um, uh, but also it won't be fully um, enclosed, so that we'll be able to continue to have air movement through the through the space. Um, we'll have some, uh, fans. So this is another look, um, you know, don't, uh, some of the stuff it, we just pulled off of our warehouse, like the fire pits and stuff, those, that hasn't actually been designed, but um, 
the idea is that we, we're using uh, soft materials, uh, either like a, a pea gravel um, material for the surface, so that um, you know it'll help with drainage and every uh, all that fun stuff, but also provide a softer material where it's not concrete, it's not baking all day. Uh, we'll have overhead greenery um, kind of on the trellis there. That will help kind of soften it as well as that tree in the middle. Um, tree is kind of similar to the tree we have at uh, Tanglewood when we designed that. We had that big tree outside the bar. Um, we could wrap it with lights and do all sorts of fun stuff. Um, just looking uh, from the west, um, kind of give you a sense of scale. Um, how it fits in with the neighborhood. A close up of the structure, and you can kind of see the barn start taking shape. That obviously will only be used in the summer months. Um, and, uh, and then keep going. There is a Instagram moment that you guys all know about. Um, I, uh, so we'll have a few of those sprinkled throughout, um, and also just to help with the branding. Um, look through, you know, I think the importance of spaces like this is just making sure that it's just not a sea of uh, picnic tables, so we're programming spa the space as if it's an interior uh, dining space. Another view of the trees. Uh, the idea with the actual structure, it'll just be uh, painter or powder coated white steel. So, um, hoping you know it'll be durable, and then you'll actually have uh, the underside of the roof will be um, a cedar to provide that warmth um, with wood uh, as a secondary structure uh, from the powder coated steel. Look at the bar. So uh, I mentioned the pea gravel, and then obviously where uh, service is happening, the health department will require us to have a, a hard surface. So we're going to uh, design showing that's more of a tiled bar front, uh, nice step, and then um, kind of a mosaic tile edge that will uh, create that bar area. Another look at the other side of another Instagram moment. And then this would be from the east, so it, it's uh, uh, it's a symmetrical design. Um, the views will be the same as from the screen. And then that's a look at the two restrooms uh, uh, in the existing garage. We'll provide some screenings that will help with uh, people. And then another note on this view is that uh, in the inside, there's a that's where the bar is. So Hope is that, um, well, the challenge with a uh, space like this is making it uh, function um, during the week as well as the weekend. So the idea was maybe the bar on the outside is not open all the time, and now we have a window uh, to the back bar uh, inside. So uh, that, and also it provides a little bit of that um, uh, acknowledgement of the outdoor area. If you're inside, you see outside and uh, vice versa. So you can see the roofs, um, you know, the idea is that all the roofs get this treatment to kind of pull it all together as one, uh, one complex. Yeah. And Andrew, can you touch on the retaining wall a little bit? Yeah. Um, the design of it, it's you know just more of a, <clears throat> more of a, like a natural limestone. Um, it'll have uh, a li landscape barrier on the inside as well, so you'll have that natural limestone, which will I'm guessing they come in like 24 to 36 inch stone uh, landscape outcropping, um, and then uh, that 
uh, landscape buffer on the inside will actually be um, uh, you know grasses and other things, so you'll have that dimension. Um, it, this is all schematic at this point. We'll have neighboring properties. We'll have to worry about and make sure that we follow you know all those requirements. The idea here was like, let's go ahead and go through the entire reboard now, so that. Uh, we don't waste any more of our clients' money if we just don't like it, so. Yes, I guess the goal then for the board is to provide feedback on the overall concept, things that you like, things that you might not like, uh, more information that you'd like to see for formal approval. Um, I just have one question. It might just be the imaging too. Um, the front patio area, are you taking it all the way up to the street or to the sidewalk where it currently is? It's staying. Okay, staying I couldn't same. tell with the yeah. street there. Yeah. Um, the I live just up from the village and I think this is really exciting. So, because <laughs> there's, you know, we, we need something like this. So would that food truck, that would be like the food part of the restaurant? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, uh, you know, there's possibility that we could um, make room for it in the garage. Yeah, for winter, um, you know, it'll just have to be, I'm, I'm sure it was really bad days, but, um, you know, it's one, of, it's part of that uh, house is so small. It is. Yeah. That, I, get, I guess that is my flower shop. Yeah. 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 I guess that is another question too. Like how much indoor seating is there actually, or is this kind of just a seasonal restaurant? And come November, they close. Like, I think there's 40, 40 to 50 seats okay. at most. Um, and that exterior area will be kind of like a sunken in yeah. feel. And so obviously, like when the weather's nice, mm -hmm. it'll the food will be warranted. Right. Yeah, in the winter, it probably won't be that good for them. So does this slowly equivalent to half a block? And then from the street to the alley going the other way? I, I would it would say it was probably more like a quarter block. So it's outlined in yellow on the map. So it's from the alley, not quite to 12th Street. Yeah. Okay. The parking behind it, is that part of the restaurant or is that the apartments and the shops it's on the, the got it. So this would just be regular. Village parking. Okay. <laughs> What's their goal timeline for? Well, um, so like, I guess a couple of things. You know, they they'd like to replace the windows um, sooner rather than later. Um, but the actual like, so I think they're phasing into two phases: getting the bar. The existing house up to um, operation, and then I'm assuming we'll probably um, it'll be a rush to get anything done this year with the patio season. So it'll probably be uh, beginning of spring for for the north side. Is, is that then just um, like repainting all the existing materials? Yeah. Repainting the existing and replacing the windows. The stair and the door won't happen um, this phase. It'll happen next phase. And what did you say the material is for the beam kinds of places? Uh, the white? Yeah. That will be a powder-coated steel, okay. powder-coated white. I mean, I don't, and unless you guys think, I don't see anything in terms of like color scheme and stuff that really s nothing sticks out like a sore thumb or anything like that. It all looks pretty nice. I know a lot of the other buildings have been trying to kind of modernize their looks and stuff. So, I mean, from an aesthetic standpoint, I think it looks good and I think it would blend in. <laughs> <laughs> I like the idea of the cedar 
for that one element. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I love the area as well, so I'm excited about this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so does Luke. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> down there too. There's yeah. so many pieces down there that just didn't cool. make it through COVID, so <laughs> it'll be nice to see some new, and, and plenty of space when it is nice. Mm -hmm. Sit, enjoy it. Will they have like an area if they have like musicians come in? Because I know that the old building like, used to kind of shove them in there. No, the thought was maybe like on the where the Instagram wall is, that could be, you know, where you have a musician playing, you know, those tables can go away on either side, it's like, nothing like Tanglewood style, or, you know, no thousand person concerts or anything, yeah. Yeah, Andrew, <clears throat> do you know if they're ever planning to enclose the part to the north? Code-wise. Okay, it's all going to stay open. Yeah. That's good. It does get cold in this room. Yeah. So do we need to make a motion on if Jeff's staff move? On any changes, does anybody have any change like things we need to see later on? Any questions on? I think the only thing, staff wise, that we'd like to see is detail on the sign mm -hmm. um, when that comes through. Um, whatever. Um, Will whatever that come to the, the board or what? Yeah. Okay. Um, but whatever the board feels is comfortable with, if you want staff to just work through the details. Uh, with the petitioner, we're, we're happy to do that. Um, but if you have something that you want to see more specifically, let us know. Let us be the first to know when the open day is. <laughs> <laughs> or, you know, if the project were to deviate from these renderings, obviously we bring that back to the board okay. for additional review. So. So a motion would be approving the presentation tonight. Well, so you don't need to do a motion if if you want to see it come back with more detail. If there's stuff that the board's comfortable moving forward and you can make a motion to direct staff to work with the petitioners um, to go through the um, building review process part of it. If, if there's something that you need to see back, um, you can direct staff to have that piece come back or, or don't have it as part of the part that staff can um, approve administratively. So however you want to move forward, if, if you want to see more details on the exterior part, but you are okay with the painting of the building and, and the, the roof and, and the windows on the existing structure, that's something you can do how, however you want to formulate that we can help you work through that. But if you approve it all, <laughs> I would, I, Andrew, the, I can't remember what you told me when we were briefed on it before. The retaining walls, How? what's the maximum height of the retaining wall? We, don't, we haven't had it surveyed. Okay. Um, my guess is it's around like four or five feet. Okay, so um, if, it, if it's over four feet, It'll have to be engineered. It has to be engineered and it would require a, a railing. Yeah. That's for fall hazard. Yeah, so if, if, if it oh. ends up happening, that part will come back too, obviously. I know, like, yeah. there's some weird things already with those walls that are already placed. They're, the neighboring property built walls on this property. So mm -hmm. we're going to, we'll have to have a survey. Well, I would, I would say, obviously, if, you know, if something changes with the wall or, um, you know, the final signage, but other than that, um, I would make a motion to have you, like, approve it and have you guys, you know, work with them for, for anything else. Just for material things you want to second that. Any other comments, concerns? All in favor say aye. 
Are we doing roll call? Sorry, man. Yeah. <laughs> Got to have myself. Let me make sure I get that. Okay. Uh, Spinnaker? Yes. Bowser? Yes. Anderson? Yes. Tibbet? Yes. Lobojan? Here. Okay, motion passes. Thank Thanks, you. Andrew. Case DR2211, request for design review, CD Downtown Zoning District, exterior remodel of 207 Western Avenue, Streamline Architects, petitioner on behalf of Jason Cousineau, Cousineau, Cousineau. Cousineau. All right, so this property is located at 207 Western Avenue, which is highlighted in yellow on the map, uh, just north of 2nd Street. And it's across the street from the YMCA building, which is, uh, has been demoed. Um, so here you see the existing building. Um, it's visible both from Western Avenue and from 2nd Street. Um, so currently, uh, it does have a boarded up section in the center of the store. And then you can see that south elevation just has a couple windows. And it's just a concrete masonry block wall face. Um, so a new salon and suites will be occupying this vacant tenant space. Uh, so as part of the project, they'll be installing new uh, black aluminum storefront windows, a new canopy, a handicap accessible entrance on that Western Avenue side. And then the south side of the building, so visible from 2nd Street, uh, they'll be boarding in the two windows on that elevation with matching concrete block to match that wall. And then they will be painting it a dark gray slash black color and adding uh, decorative wall sconces to that side. Um, so here's just a few renderings. Uh, so this is the view from the intersection of second and Western. Um, so they show a decorative mural on that uh, blank wall facade. Um, a more zoomed in photos, so you can see the new storefront windows. Um, there is a hanging canopy. Uh, we've had conversation with the applicant. So they show a hanging sign coming down from the canopy. Well, you need eight, at least eight feet of clearance between the pavement to the sign. Uh, so for those reasons, they're gonna come back at a later date with the wall sign instead. Yeah, so that salon and suites will likely be on the brick above the storefront canopy. So those murals on the side? Um, yep, so they'll be painting a mural on that blank wall facade um, on the south. And then this one, it's not in the scope uh, for DRB because it's not visible from the public right away, but this is the back side of the building, which will be repainted and they'll have another form of entrance to the building uh, from the back where the parking is. Um, so staff have three levels of recommendations. So the first is approval of the following project components. Uh, the first being the new black metal canopy with the integrated lighting over the entrance, uh, the exterior wall sconces for lighting, uh, the surface painted mural applied to the south, south elevation and then the new black storefront windows on the east and west elevations. Um, we're also recommending a condition um, that the wall sconces on the mural wall uh, be spaced evenly on the CMU black and to not put a sconce on the brick portion that wraps around from the front facade. And then finally, we're recommending tabling uh, two components. One is the signage, uh, which will likely be relocated onto the black of the, I'm sorry, the brick wall above the canopy, and then the concrete ramp and guardrail for the 88 entrance. Can I ask why you're asking them to put that one on hold, the last one? Sure. Um, a detailed site plan hasn't been provided yet, showing the dimension that it protrudes from the building frontage and just to ensure that there's still enough walk space 
um, to maneuver on the sidewalk for pedestrians. Right. There's, there is an alternative. There isn't enough room um, that you extend the ADA ramp north and you wouldn't just cut it off then. So it's, it's kind of where we're at right now, making sure that there's enough walk space. What's the condition of the materials? It's dirt, right? Yeah, yes, so I can, um, sorry. I'm just wondering about the condition of the brick and whether there would need to be any tuck pointing done. Uh, they do show limited tuck pointing as needed on the building. The one condition for the wall sconce on the south elevation, you could see in this rendering, um, the brick from the front of the building wraps around the corner and they show a light on the brick portion. So we're just recommending to not install one there to preserve the brick. Will they be painting the front as well, that black gray color or leaving it as is? The front from Western Avenue will not be painted. So it will look like that. Is the design of the mural picked out or? Uh, yeah, it was just a, an art Can rendering. Can you uh, come to the podium, podium, please? Yeah, sorry. Okay. I didn't know when, I was ready, when it was time. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, so the art rendering on the side would be just a local artist that we contact to kind of do something similar to what we are showing. Uh, that's what the owner liked. We like the contrast of the material. Um, and just to bring life on that side due to the two windows that we're removing, because these will be salon suites, they will need those walls for, you know, electrical. So we're giving them all the same spaces on the inside and infilling with the CMU. So trying to keep that wall all the same and just giving it that black back for the contrast and then the lighting just for the parking and to illuminate the mural. Yes. Cool. Will the uh, awning be removed with the new sign? The uh, No, we'll keep the canopy. Okay. Um, we were discussing when Matt had a couple questions on that clearance, height clearance, and um, talking with the owner too, just having, being able to have the signage mounted on the building is going to be the best route just for power and ease and following the clearances that are needed. Any other questions or comments? The only thing I can add is, is if you don't need to see the ADA ramp come back and you just want to improve the railing material, then staff can work with them on the ADA ramp part of it. If you want to, do you notice, is that the final design for rail? Yeah, it'll be like a black post railing with the cable and either a, a wood cap rail on the top. So the I'm assuming there's a step there now. I'm not familiar with the building. I look flush. Yeah, the other thing that um, we just talked about is you don't necessarily need the railing per code um, if you just paint the, paint the difference separately too. Okay. As long as it doesn't. Do you know if it does? Ex it didn't look it's like it did. It's like a yeah. It's really not. It's like eight inches. Oh, it's eight. I mean, we haven't gone on site to actually measure it, but. We knew that that you would need some kind of ADA. The railing was, yeah, kind of more added to create like a little bit of a better separation, but not needed. So is there a step there now? It looks flush to the cement. I'm wondering why, like an official. So one yeah, there is a step. If you're, if you just blending in, into the shadow, you see that CMU block, and it almost kind of blends in right in the center okay. of where that panel is placed. Okay. Okay. Yeah, we have not gone on site to actually measure that sidewalk um, and knowing four feet out from there what that clearance is for walkability.
I would move to approve this uh, with the staff stipulation. You want to approve the ring list? Yes, you want to. Unless my staff can allow it? Yes. I second it. Motion. Any other comments? Okay. Anderson? Yes. Tibbet? Yes. Slobogen? Yes. Vinegar? Yes. And Salzer? Yes. Motion passes, thanks. <laughs> Any general discussion on the board? From staff? No. Uh, any public yeah. comment? I just want to mention something. I don't know how many of you knew Matt Flynn. Some of you did. Um, just want to let you know he is retiring um, effective August 1st. So oh. I just thought I'd let you know. Yeah. <laughs> 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 All right, is there a motion to adjourn? Motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. <laughs> <laughs> is there a second? All in favor say aye. Aye. All opposed say no. All right. Passes. Good night, everyone.